Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the Beamerzite channel. My name is Rich, and today I'm taking you along on my first cars and coffee all season due to the pandemic. And today I'm taking my 84 533i, this is my E28, taking out to the western end of Connecticut to meet up with my friend Ian, who has a 1990 300TE wagon, I believe that's what the model is called. So we're gonna head out there. We have some hand sanitizer, got some masks, ready to have a socially distant coffee gathering. I'm uh, gonna head out to a little farm stand, grab a cup of Joe, and check out his 300TE wagon. And we'll do a little walk around and show you that car, hopefully. And um, yeah, so let's hit the road. is recording too I suppose all right we're good and then sometimes you can also clap to like like that and then you'll see like the waveform from like this one and this one and you like sync up the uh, the big like audio wave of the that makes sense yeah so hence the what's going on everybody what's going on welcome to another beamer's eye video my name is rich this is my buddy ian hey everybody and today we're going to be taking a look at his 1990 300TE wagon. This is a Mercedes. We'll allow some Mercedes content on the channel today. And uh, we're going to have Ian kind of give a little presentation and walk around the car and show you guys what he's done to it and what he hasn't done to it, I suppose. Exactly. So, and we're going to have a little socially distanced uh, video recording today. So not to worry, we'll keep a... We'll keep a good distance. We'll keep a hands. wagon's distance. Yes, one wagon's distance is at all uh, times. At all times. So this is a 1990 Mercedes 300 TE that I bought about a year ago from the second owner. This car has 125,000 miles on it. When I bought it, it had 120. The second owner bought it from the original owner, who was a, a woman in New Jersey. She bought it new from Prestige Mercedes and drove this up through 2016 where she sold it to one of the guys that worked for her husband's construction company. Car was in great shape on the interior. Uh, this has the stage one paint, so the clear coat, there's no clear coat, so it just needed to be really cleaned and waxed. The interior was really what sold me on it. The fact that it's A, a blue on white is, uh, I'm a sucker for that. Uh, but you, as you can see, the interior is really strong. No rips in the bolster, uh, which you see a lot. The dash was 100% there. The headliner had, wasn't droopy. So overall interior is really clean, uh, which is great because that's one less thing to have to worry about. So the 300 TE was the seven passenger wagon back in the 90s. It was the car to have if you were a upper class soccer mom. You tote all the kids around, which is great. So you've got the two rear-facing seats in the back. These are totally safe too, by the way. Totally safe. For it does crash have standards. Seat belts. Yeah. When I was a kid, we used to fight for this seat in the back with all my friends. I gotta I, check this out here. If you can hold the camera for a sec. So my friends didn't have the Mercedes version. But you can see this is incredibly comfortable. This is uh, this is a great spa space to be in for for some tailgating action. Absolutely, this is such a cool spot. Although my well, head hits the roof. That's <laughs> awesome. Yeah. So when I bought the car, it sat on H and R springs with 17-inch AMG wheels, and it was literally in the dirt. So since I've owned it in the last year, I've redone the whole rear suspension. So full control arm linkage, sway bar links, shocks, 
Also put in new OEM springs. Uh, so that raised the back end up. I got rid of those AMG wheels and put on the stock 15 inch with 195 65s. Those springs you see in the back seat are gonna be put on this weekend uh, for the front. So hopefully should raise up the front about uh, another inch to two inches. So overall car is in pretty good shape. It was a car from the Northeast. So it's got a little bit of rust here and there, but shock tower struts are all pretty good. Uh, no holes, nothing crunchy. Overall, super fun car to drive. Uh, it's a gas aspirated three liter straight six. So about 188 uh, horsepower, nothing really crazy to write home about, but really great to cruise the highway, really great on these nice roads and, that we have here in Connecticut. So the car currently sits on the H&R springs and stock shocks in the front. Uh, you can see that I've put on a little bit of an air dam on the bottom. I also replaced all these front headlight bezels. Uh, all this plastic ends up fading and cracking. So this is all new plastic bezels, new parking lights, just to really freshen it up. Took the grill assembly off, repainted it to match the color match the bumpers, rematch the bumpers as well. One of my favorite things about this car is that this is definitely a well-loved and well-used car. This is her family hauler. And you can see that, you know, they went to the Meadowlands pretty often in Monmouth Park. They still have got the stickers all backlogged up there. Purists might want to take it off, but I think it was a really cool little feature. I had the custom Euro plate matched to the day it rolled off the factory in Stuttgart. So this came off the factory on May 29, 1990. So again, it's, you know, it was a little bit of a basket case, some little things. So, you know, we had to add some new innovative ways to open the hood. Uh, this car had a pretty rusty exhaust when I purchased it. So rather than put the stock muffler on, I just went for a straight catback exhaust system and let's see if we can start it up and So it sounds a little different than stock, which is always fun, but it helps it move down the road pretty quick too. One of the great things about these cars is you really can't kill the engine and you see these things with hundreds of thousands of miles, 200, you know, always find them in a diesel, 180, 250. You know, this thing's still a baby with 125,000 miles on it. Engine bay is pretty clean. So I hear this vehicle's for sale, Ian. This vehicle is currently for sale, yes. I'm currently asking $37.50 for the car. I've got receipts for everything that I did to the car and everything that I've added to it. And I think it's a pretty fair price. Uh, I'm not actively selling it because I do love to drive it. But, uh, you know, you find these in two conditions. A ton of miles uh, and it's perfect or they're complete basket cases and they've also got a ton of miles. This is a really nice in-between. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a ton of fun to drive and uh, hopefully someone can take it over and bring it to that next level or just really enjoy it. So should we put your email address in the, in the uh, yeah, description? Yeah, that's video? perfect. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be great. Ian.Senecal at Gmail. All right, guys, thank you for joining us on this Sunday morning edition of uh, Cars and Coffee, COVID edition, socially distanced edition. And uh, if you're interested in possibly purchasing this wagon, I will put the contact info for Ian in the description below. It is, uh, it's a nice little wagon. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, see you in the next video.